It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bills and the Niners. And it's all up next. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable in the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three and guess what it brings up third down pretty good job defensively thought he was going to get it but they knew where that marker was and they stopped him just short of it what it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side is it defense understanding as you noted where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there and he's going to have a Niners first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. It was just third down and short, but he'd been off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to run. And yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, look at the juke. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 63 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought 
thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Purdy. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Play number eight here on the opening drive. This is third and goal. Now Purdy. Six-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners are on the board first here this afternoon. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done. And on the opening drive of the game. Moody good with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Off play action, Allen. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. From the 28, it's second and five. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. They run the counter with Cook. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. So third and two. This quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. 
You know it was tough for them to stand on the sidelines and watch the other team take it downfield and score, wasn't it? So they knew when they got on the field, it's on them. Pick up first downs, get downfield and score. How about them picking up that third and short? I was just going to say, you and I were talking before the game, those third down conversions are going to be huge in this one. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Allen off the bootleg. That's caught. Kincaid for the Bills touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that, that's the, right? that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Fighting his way through contact. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Second down and six now. Here's Purdy. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Deontay Hardy back deep. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. 
And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. He's got to hook up with Diggs. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. Here's Allen to throw it. The left side caught by Diggs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 41-yard line. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner, and the 49ers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Purdy looking to throw. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. Short completion, just four yards, and now it's third and three. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. The heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 86 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this complete to Charlie Warner. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw, Purdy. And he's got it. Touchdown, Fighters. Jerome Jennings. Executed there off.
offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. That time, a six-play drive, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's the tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well in the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going another zone defense it looks like it's open for possibilities but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 working out of the shotgun here's allen going quickly there but it's incomplete a couple of quick incompletions and now they're just one more away from getting off the field They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Allen again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he'll work down inside the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Cook. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 39. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They run it again with Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. They work now on second and nine. On 
play action. Allen. Got a man. It's caught at the six yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run with Cook. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball that coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. Well, also a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. The kick by Bass is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw a run deep. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. A handoff left, McCaffrey. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 128 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said... What is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know they don't have to hold their blocks for very long, as one of them told us. If I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. Now Purdy. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Jennings was the one he was looking for, and now it's second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. 
This is third down and 12. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And this one is right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Now Allen throwing on second down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, it's Allen. That is caught. And down he goes but he takes it up to the 40. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Allen on third. Four, still three yards short, fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. 
play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. Ah, oh, that is incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. On the return, Hardy. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Here's Allen on first and 10. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he will find Davis. That's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. On third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise, and then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. They'll try the middle with Cook, and he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now second and nine. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Allen. Looking left sideline. It's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach 
reach the five. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And it's caught. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Allen going to throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he gets it to go, and we're all even, 17 apiece. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. Seventeen, seventeen, the score. All even to this point as the kicks away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field as we eat closer and closer to intermission. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. On first down, Purdy. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Now yeah, he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now Purdy. Yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world. No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and ten. Here's Purdy. And that's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. 
Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Cook. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. A final shot before half for Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They are all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Well, they found him eight times in that first half, and this is his first catch of quarter number three. That was a nicely run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. Allen. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. That's quickly out wide to Davis. Five yards, now it's third and five. Allen. Work in the middle of the field and he's 
got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Allen off the play fake. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, so much for holding them to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear, and that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver, and it sets up a first and goal. Throwing now is Allen. in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Here's Bass now for the extra point. take a seven-point lead now. A 10-play drive that time. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. To the touchdown bass to kick it away and this will be a touchback so they'll bring it out to the 25 here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half but Charles you and I said in intermission feels like we're set up for a good second half well the other side scored now it's up to them to answer how do they respond here with their first drive of the second half well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. This is Samuel. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Purdy from the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Here's Samuel. And they wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That play wasn't quite as big as the 
play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Just need a yard here. Second and one. He'll keep it himself. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Out of the gun, Purdy. Got a man, that's Ayuk. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Completes it to Jennings. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Purdy will set up to throw it here. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And hey partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Moody good with the extra point, and that will tie us at 24. taken in right around the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line the football back to the bills and stefan Diggs. previous series definitely a focal point three catches the touchdown grab as a db your former db is there a number of catches on a drive you're like oh he got the best of us i'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Allen now on first down. Completes to Shakir once again. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. From midfield, here's Allen. That's complete to Davis. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they had gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a gain of a yard there, and now will be third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here's third and a few inches. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And Cook has it left side. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away here's Allen on first and ten and down inside the 15 he goes good coverage downfield led to him taking off picking up the first down on a 13 yard run fast slow it doesn't matter if you give a quarterback enough room to escape he can hit you for a big game you've got to give him a little more focus moving forward operating from the red zone now Allen and that is incomplete now oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down in the red zone precision is the watchword if the throw is a little too early too late maybe off a little bit going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one and that one falls incomplete third quarter all tied up this is second and ten so they fake the handoff now Allen shoves him away and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game give him seven there on the tuck and run and they're in better shape now for third Oh, partner just a second earlier and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped yeah this is only going to be a gain of two he needed three it's fourth and one I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have come back to regain the lead. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Back now here in Santa Clara. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. McCaffrey on the toss right. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Niners on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and five. 
Now Purdy. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's caught by Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the Niners are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over. Now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey and able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Second and six. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Purdy. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I... Now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, is that now will wind up an incomplete pass. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. And now out come the Bills. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you. An interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. Second and nine. Allen gonna fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 
Throwing his Allen on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. They call it no game there on the first down play. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and ten. Cook up the gut. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Now that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, get me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave, so they took their shot but couldn't connect. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Purdy. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Shotgun now with Purdy. Looking for the out He's got it. Completes a kill. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done. When the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down. And it did right there. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. 
Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. The extra point try now for Moody. And that will make this a four-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bills getting set to go. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play. And that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. Allen's throw is complete. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Allen going to throw. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Now Allen. It's complete to Cook. James Cook, 43 yards. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. 
So the drive there took six plays. And it was James Cook finishing things off with a touchdown catch. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. On first down, Purdy. Debo Samuel. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. A big play there for the Niners. 55 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. That's complete out left to Ayu. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And the 49ers are gonna have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Here we go, first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. To throw is Purdy. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Throwing, Purdy. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Tyrell Dotson in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Partner, you absolutely cannot take a sack in that situation. Now, it's also fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to tie things up in the final minute. And his kick is indeed good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. 
And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if you look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Throwing Allen. Here comes second down. Allen. That's caught by Shakir. What do you think, play this safe? Just worry about getting OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's gonna change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And here come the Bills. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, he'll get this one complete to Davis. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Allen, off the play fake. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A little dink and a dunk that they're doing it. At some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is, if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Stopped right at midfield. 14 yards that time for number 14. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust 
and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. From midfield, here's Allen. That is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Shakir holds it in. And he showed some fancy footwork on the juke, but then quickly taken down. Five yards, now it's third and five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Allen now looks to throw. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance, you got to punt it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, <laughs> if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old-school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. But we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return, you can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now it's Purdy's turn in overtime. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Purdy off the play fake. And that is nearly intercepted. Oh, that would have changed things here in overtime, but instead, it's just second down. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. The chains. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's going to be caught by Samuel. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now a second and two. Purdy will set up to throw it here. 
Got a man. That's high you. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. McCaffrey running up the middle. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's third and three. Purdy. will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Okay, so interesting here. A field goal would win this thing, but the kicking team on the sideline, and they're going for it on fourth down. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, they knew who to turn to on fourth down. Their horse, they needed the short yardage. He just couldn't get it. And that's a surprise because normally that's bread and butter for them, right? Hand it to the big guy, let him go, pick up the first down. Didn't get it there. All credit to the defense. Usually, even if they know he's coming, he can't be stopped. And they got it done on that play. In his own end zone, it's Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And with that pass CD, he's now over 400 yards in the game. And even in a pass-first league, that is still a tough benchmark to hit. And all week leading up to this one, all we read, heard about was the confidence he had that he could put up big numbers. Kudos to him for coming out here with that belief in himself and for making it happen. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Allen off the bootleg. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. They'll give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So first and 10 now from the 30. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And I know you with every 
carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. So it all comes down to the right foot of Jake Moody. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And Union Street will be hopping tonight. The 49ers have won it. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that, because so many times, we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going, and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.